What's up, guys? It's your girl, Miss Laganja Stranja. And Joseph Shepard. Back with a brand new episode of Queening Out. Out. What is the tea, honey bee? Well, you know, the fans have been talking. They've oh, been well, chatting in little comments. They love to talk. They've been telling us what they want, what they don't want. And so we're going to review this episode of the Lip Sync Lollapalooza and Palapalooza. Uh-huh. And then, the Ganja palette of yes. the pageant. And then we are going to get into, as the weeks progress, a brand new Queening Out. Oh my God, you mean we're finally not going to be talking about Drag Race? No Drag Race. Oh, what a gift. What a blessing. I can't wait to not have to pretend to watch something to review. Yeah. <laughs> well, for this, this episode, you're going to have to pretend for the rest of the Lip Sync Lala Perusa. It will be a pretend. I'm not going to lie because uh, I just got this 300 grams ooh, ooh. of individual K-tip extensions, just like our girl Tate McCray does. Okay. So I'm feeling the fantasy. It took 20 hours. Wait, you didn't sit there for 20 hours, did you? I had to split it into two days. The first day, my beautiful trans sister Venus did this for me um, because my hairstylist is on a vacation. So it was a last minute thing. Um and yeah, girl, day one, we were there for probably 12 hours. And mind you, she's using this like, now, this is the not the correct term, but it's like a hot glue gun, basically, that <laughs> melts the beads. And then you put it into your scalp right next to your root. So you could get burned, basically. Uh -huh. And so around 2 a.m., I was like, sister, I think we're both getting sleepy. I think we need to rendezvous tomorrow. So I went back to San Pedro and then did another like 10, 12 hours. It was a 24-hour process, including like content and, you know, all that. So like what happens? Like how do you have to keep it? Now I have this hair for the rest of the the year all through tour, no wigs. She's just going to be pussy 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 back back me out. And yeah, it's it's you know, it's going to be a lot of upkeep. It also means like if I do decide which I will to get into the ocean like in Thailand, I'm going to have to wear a swim cap because mm -hmm. you can't really you can get it wet, but salt water is not great yeah. for the K-tips. So uh, I got to be really careful with that, but I'm so excited. I did my first performance last night. I saw um, and it was amazing. It was liberating. I did my Gypsy Rose Lee fantasy and stripped down to just pasties and a little something, something down mm -hmm. there. And uh, my camera crew for the honoring her documentary was there to like, you know, get the whole process. And so many of my friends showed up and it was such a special night. And of course, I couldn't believe this. So my hair was up in like a bun. Uh -huh. And part of the reveals was that I was going to pull it out and shake it. Well, girl, I was so in the performance and the body reveals that I forgot to do the hair. So after sitting for 24 <laughs> hours, I forgot to reveal the fucking hair. So at the end of the bow, my friend was like going like this for me to pull the chopsticks out. So I pulled them out and they still got to see it. But I just was like, only me would sit for 24 hours, yeah. get this hair done and then forget to pull it out on stage. <laughs> but, it but it was great. baby's first night, you know, yeah. so there was a lot going on, a lot of emotions. But uh, yeah, how I'm did excited. you feel? I'm excited. You performed Metamorphosis, right? I did perform yes. Metamorphosis, the new original song that my friend Robert and Krista wrote for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm such a perfectionist. If, 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 if I really wanted to break it down, it wasn't my best performance. I was nervous. I didn't know the words fully. I'd only slept four hours. Robert had come over yesterday at like 11. We were rushing to get it done, gluing rhinestones into the dress in the 10th hour or 11th hour. I think mm -hmm, it's 11th, 11th hour. hour. Um, and what's the nth hour or the nth degree? Right? The to the degree? nth degree. To the nth degree. I'm number nth either. degree and 11th hour. Eh, just trust me. Okay. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. I love water. <laughs> Laganja. We need water. H2O, honey. You know, in Coyote, Coyote Ugly, they say hell no H2O. But I here, don't we need think it. that I had laughed so hard. I was re watching that back. The and episode I was, like, was good. I watched it, it was too. And I never watched When you literally were like, I was like, I don't want to give up, but I'm right there, ready to leave it all behind. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Sincerely, the depression ridden gender, Justin. Oh, Justin, water. Don't you think? Water, flush the system. Easiest thing to do. You're saying, telling Justin to drink water? I am. Yeah. And I was. <laughs> and then the Asians. And yeah, if you didn't watch last week's episode, girl, go check it out. I was unhinged. I had barely slept. And then someone wrote in the comments, imagine that, Laganja not sleeping. I was like, exactly. I'm glad you guys are getting to know me. 
How about you? What's been going on in your world? I'm nice. like getting back into like my my zone. Brittany I'm, in the zone. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite thing. Okay, I just want to talk about this? for two seconds. Yes. So literally, I two or three years ago. I saw on Offer Up. I was like looking for furniture. Yeah. And this popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I've never seen this picture before. Like uh -huh. I've never seen this. Goes to figure out this guy used to work at TRL. Mm. And a like, TRL for you young people was a show on MTV mm -hmm. where they had the stars come on and reviewed music videos. Yes. Total request live. live. Yep. So he used to work at it and he had a framed Britney for when she came in there. So that's the <gasps> spanking new music week. Where she came on. So that's on. like authentic. It's authentic, yeah. Wow. I hope one day you get to meet her and have her sign it. Yeah. Make sure you have her sign the paper, not the glass. No. Tip of the trade. Oh, I went to um, Genghis Cohen on Friday night. It's I like know a this name. Chinese restaurant. Oh, on... yeah, yeah, yeah. And they cook it right in front of you on the grill. No, not that one. Genghis Khan? That, I think you're thinking of another one. Oh. That this Korean is... barbecue vibes. No. Oh, okay. So Was went she there. giving you the food fantasy? Um, not really. Here she goes. But Here I will tell you what she goes. But I'll tell you what was giving me the fantasy. What was okay. giving me the fantasy is I was leaving. Uh-huh. Out. It was probably like 9 30. I was with Isaac with two other friends, and we we're walking down the street, and then this random person goes, I saw you on Delta. Oops, I'll smack that thing. <laughs> She was excited to I tell was the story. Excited. Oh, um, that's so awesome. somebody stopped me and was like, I, I saw you, you're blue, and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, and Isaac was like, you love that, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I love when people stop me. Right. It just feels good. Fucking Isaac, man. You love when you <laughs> do that. I could just hear her. <laughs> yeah. She just couldn't let you have your no, moment. No. Isaac, sweetie, I know you watch these episodes. <laughs> You'd be nice to my man over here. <laughs> Remember, two positives. With the negative sandwiched in between. Yes. I like that. Oh, that was so sweet he stopped you. You do love that, don't you? Mm. But I'm really happy he recognized you. <laughs> See? Wasn't that easy? <laughs> <laughs> I got my go-go juice. I'm good to go today. I'm glad you got your go-go juice. Thank you for bringing it. Seriously. Of course. What I is brought that? this ridiculous... Oh, my God. I shouldn't have bought it, but I had to. It's a Reese's... I don't know. Oh, iced coffee Reese's Delight. I can't wait. I'm going to be farting like heaven. and Farting? Farting? Why are you going to be farting Putin? with Reese's? I mean, come on. That's just like, it just gives me like coffee and, you know, coffee, cigarettes, fart. No cigarettes, though. Just saying. It just yeah. gives me very that. No? Okay. Coffee doesn't help you go poo-poo in the morning? That's what everybody says, but I don't believe it. Oh, I do. Do you? Are well, you let's like, not talk more and more about poo-poo. I did that enough last week. <laughs> well, on that note, let's take a break, and we're going to get into this uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, Lollapalooza, Samando, Canemalamna. Not the Samando. We're back with a man. <laughs> with a man? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back with a Commando episode. <laughs> commando is like where you don't wear underwear, right? Yeah, but I'm wearing underwear. Are you wearing I'm underwear? I'm not. Oh. Honey, I ain't wearing nothing under this dress. Get into it. Oh. Honey, I ain't wearing <laughs> nothing under this dress. Get into it. This rack is staying up by itself. Oh. I know. This is going to be the first like few episodes where I'm not wearing the faha and I'm just going to be giving looks. I did decide this last night at the, I don't know, midnight when I got home. I was like, you know, we're moving forward into this new like podcast era for us. And I'm also moving into this new era of me. And I was like, I just want to like start dressing like an artist. Okay. Like I've been looking at a lot of people online and I'm like very inspired to like really be more eccentric. I think for a long time I felt self-conscious. Mm -hmm. And I think specifically as a trans woman, there was this whole like, I want to fit in. I don't want to stand out. I don't want to get clocked for being, you know, trans. And now, I don't know, my best friend's been telling me this for years, but he's like, you're an artist. You should dress like one. You should be creative. And so, honey, get ready for the looks. She is about to give y'all some looks for this new style on our pod. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. I brought back the shorts because I got yelled at. I saw. They were like, where's our legs? I was like, here are the legs. <laughs> Take the legs. I was like... Oh, Jesus, I didn't know they were that important to you guys. But hey, they're back. They're back. Back, back, back again. That's right. So you said that you had this one in the background. I had it on in the back, 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 background. I sure did. And then sometimes, you know, when the hair was being done on this side, I could watch. But when the hair was, you know, then I couldn't watch. You just watch. heard. I and heard. Just... Trust and believe I did turn around for Galavero. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see all that me to swinging. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Did you see your wig come off? I did. I was concerned how this far in the game, we have not figured out how to... 
Let me just let y'all in. If you don't know how to secure your wig, first you want to take a wig cap. Then you want to take the special pussy tape available at Willem's website. You're going to put that pussy tape all the way around your head. Yes, it is going to go into your baby hairs. And yes, it will pull those out. Then you're going to put your wig on and you're going to take the clips that are in the wig and put that underneath the tape. Then you're going to take bobby pins and go in through that tape, a twist a and down, motion down so that all of that pins are going down. So when the wig wants to pull, those pins are counterbalancing and creating, you know, the force to keep it down. Then I also use wig glue on top of that to glue the edges. So I've never lost a wig ever. I think I may be once in my baby career, but like mm -hmm. I don't be losing wigs. That's like yeah. number one, like drag 101, like girl, make sure your wig's on. What did you think of the whole topic of should she have gone through or not? When the girls were like, oh, she lost her wig. Do you think that that should determine if you go through the next round or not? I don't. But I do think she was the best one in that lip sync. I do think she was the best one in that so lip sync. So that's, that's the only thing. But once that wig came up, I went. I know. It's sort of like an automatic DQ. But I want to know what Rue said, because every time somebody was eliminated, you saw what Rue said to them. Okay. But Miranda Labrau was the only one who you didn't see that moment of. And that was when her and Galavaro were um, doing their lip sync. So Gala lost her wig, and then it just goes straight to Miranda walking into the room. So you didn't get to see what RuPaul said. So I was wondering if Ru said anything about a wig. I think Ru said, Mary, if your wig falls off again, you're a disgrace, mm -hmm. but you were better. So Shantae, you stay. Mm -hmm. I would imagine she said, you better get back in that room and get the gorilla glue. Because if that <laughs> comes off, you will embarrass me for picking you and sending you through. Yeah. First, okay, th sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was about to talk about these songs and then I had to talk about this man. Oh, the man. Manuel, spin that wheel. Ooh. Honey, I just <gasps> blew his ears out. I'm sorry. Hey, oh, honey. He was fine boots. And I don't know what he was doing sitting on the judges panel, but it's all I could look at. That face, I'm sorry. I was the nipple piercing for me. Oh, it, the one nipple Oof. piercing. This man, I literally was like sitting there watching the episode and I was like, oh, this is making it so much better. Who is this man? I right. was like, who's on the judging panel? I was like, and not oh. to say our American pit crew isn't cute. But no. Baby, that was... I love some brown skin. You know, I love your brown skin. You know that song? No. I can't tell where mine begins and yours ends. India Ari. Oh. She's one of my favorites. No, I don't know. That and song. as a little white boy, I was not supposed to be listening to her, but I sure was. I remember when I walked into Alyssa's studio for the very first time. And I was like, you know, working there and wanting to choreograph and I wanted to do, I am not my hair. And I remember Alyssa being like, girl, what do you know about that brown skin? And I was like, girl, I love India Ari. And I think that was one of the main reasons we connected right away is she was just like, who is this white boy coming up here in a sequin vest talking about India Ari? So yeah, girl. Testimony Volume 1, Love and Relationships. It's something like that. She spent three years making this album. Wow. It is my church. Whenever I'm super depressed or I need to like be uplifted, I listen to the album. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Oh, I'm, that's so funny that Manuel brought that to you. Do you see? I yes. told you yesterday when we were talking about topics, I was like, oh, honey, you can have it's one loose topic and you know my ass will just ramble -oo. No, I, I will say I was in love. I've never looked yeah. at like a pit crew member and been like, you know, like they're, they'll always be like the pit crew comes in and they act like like they're they flooded their basement. Oh, yeah. And I'll be like, well, it's not that serious. Well, but this one flooded my basement. That's reality TV 101. Yeah. You know, every Just, time the message rings and Rue, you know, calls in in the beginning, they're all like, oh, my God, there's a sound <laughs> on the TV. You know, it's always I've so like, never heard that. Right. Before. It's so dramatic. So we had Eva Queen and Vanity Vane. They performed first and it was just what they want by RuPaul. Vanity Vane ended up losing after having a consecutive, what, four wins? Yeah, I think? the other girl's mouth was better. Vanity didn't know the words. No. Vanity pulled that hair out and tried her best with like, wit in it just, no. no. Then we had Soa Demuse and Tessa Testicle for ASMR Lover. Uh, and Soa won. Mm -hmm. I didn't agree with that. Really? I, I just like Tessa. So I think, again, I was half watching, but I just was like, no, Tessa should win. I she looks so good. That gold and the blonde. I was sick of that blonde wig. Oh, girl, let it go. That's her style. Alaska wears the same wig. Bianca wears the same wig. Trixie wears the same wig. So why can't Tessa have her signature poof? Because that signature poof wig was worn about four times throughout the whole season. Let her. Fine. 
I guess, is she now in your house? I don't know if she's officially, but she's in my house. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. Anyone who's going to name themselves after testicles, I think I'm going to start going by breasty breasticles. <laughs> you know what? I think I could see a family resemblance. I think right? that should happen. I think so. What would Alyssa's name be then? Uh, what, what, what else is an esticle? Testicle, breasticle, chesticle? Analesticle? Okay, now we're getting carried away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it abused one that then we had jealous of my boogie Athena Leakey's and Pythia poor Pythia yeah she got ate alive and the look I was like the look from yeah, Pythia what? I, was I like, didn't I mean, get it I mean it was okay it was pretty but like I just felt like beautiful hit face up but the outfit was it didn't a little... feel Pythia it didn't but then I was wondering was she thinking like oh my gosh I'm she didn't go sink, so I'm gonna go off but right. then I was like oh but then she didn't go off yeah no. Then we had Galavaro and Miranda Labrow to Cha-Cha Bitch. Right, which is where she lost the wig. But, mm -hmm. I mean, come on. She did way better. And she was so hot. Cha-Cha Bitch. So pretty. Yeah. But Miranda did good. She tried. I loved Miranda's outfit. I will say oh. that. Oh, that you didn't like it? black and white Tony yes, blue coat? No. I loved it. No. Didn't, didn't feature. Wow. You and I are just getting into it today. Then we had round two. Galavaro and Eva Laqueen, Call Me Mother. This is where I started having that. This other is where side. you started the other side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gala won. Yeah. And then we had You Wear It Well with Athena Leakey's and So It Amuse. Didn't see. They both were in sync for something, and I don't think they meant to be, but okay. it just came off so. We do love a synchronology between queens. You know, that? I'd like to think I was one of the originators that of, of the that. synchronology. With, yeah, with me and Jocelyn Fox when we both hit the split. Oh yeah. Although let's not forget, she just went bloop, and I had my leg up in the air yes. and then dropped into the split. So it was very different. But yes, it was, I feel like, one of the first, like, wow, synchronized moment by accident. You're Come such, on! You're such a gay. They, they all went they crazy! They walked in unison down the they runway. They did walk in unison down the <laughs> runway. And you know what? It gave me life. Next. Not impressed. It's a sissy that walk in unison. Oh, girl, come on. Oh, excuse me, Miss... Give Tessa testicle her hair 10 million times. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I'm and glad that walk gave you life. If you want, today we'll sissy out of here together. So you just can like feel that. that. Absolutely. Just on the okay. Absolutely. Great. We parked on the same side of the road, so that works great. <laughs> um, and then we had the final So de Muse and Galavaro to the beginning. And So de Muse won fifty thousand dollars. It was okay, that final lip sync. I wasn't overly impressed, were you? I think that Soa did a great job of in embodying a face the whole time, meaning like she was fully in it. And I felt at the end of that lip sync that she was like, this is the beginning for me. $50,000. <gasps> Work. Okay. That's how I felt. Good. Yeah. It like felt like it was like her moment, like in a TV show. This is the beginning. And she's like, oh. I wanted Tessa to win, so. Well, Tessa was kicked out two, two things ago. I'm just saying that's my opinion. I wanted Tessa to win the money. She was my next favorite of all the people who left. Actually, I liked Gala, too. She's hot. Anyone who keeps their cock out, I'm like, work. <laughs> work, queen. <laughs> Let me kai kai with all that. <laughs> well, on that note, how did you feel about the lip sync? Loved it. Favorite episode. I love Drag Race. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we have Miss Alyssa Edwards. We yes. have Miss Queen. Oh, let's talk about the look. Her outfit. Oh my gosh, that I look wish was she'd so done good. a different lip. Personally, mm -hmm. if I'm going to critique something, it was too nude for me. Mm -hmm. I wish the lip had been a little something, a little even like a color. Like I'm wearing just a little bit more color to the to the lip. But my God, that looked so good. Her hair too. And uh, Miss, he's so sorry. Nelania? Yes. I loved she it. She looked good. That, oh. She looked good. I was like, okay, she stepped it up. Yeah, those are my two favorite. Me too. Queen Kong wore the same dress. Hideal. Right. Meanwhile, Queen watches this show. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> Alyssa told me she watches the show. So Queen, we just want to say we love you. We're not a fan of the black and gold, but we are a fan of you. So just know everything we say doesn't really matter. Who the fuck are we? You did great. Nobody. We're proud of you. And you could put me in like, uh, what do you call them things? A headlock? Okay. I feel like... Oh, and give you a nookie? No, I wouldn't want a nookie. Oh. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want a nookie. Maybe nookie in the bedroom, but uh -oh. no, not nookie with no, the... No, that's a cookie in the bedroom. Oh, a cookie in the bedroom. 
<laughs> the nookie on the headroom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, how are you feeling? Who do you think is going to take it? Alessa, duh. I do. If my mother does not win, I'm riding. We shall meet at dawn. <laughs> Imagine you start like a whole campaign. I will. Watch me. Because if she doesn't win, then I have permission to finally go ham. And I'm writing the untold stories. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've been on my best behavior because of her. So they better not fuck with her. Okay. I'm very serious. Wow. I told Alyssa to, well, I didn't tell her, but I put it in my stories about riding. And she was all like, Gancha, take that down. <laughs> I was like, no, you have to be congenial. I do not. Yeah. I was like, meanwhile, my whole podcast, all I've done is talk about you and you should win. She's like, you did. And then that's when she told me, she was like, well, I don't watch, but Queen does. <laughs> You're like, thank you. Thanks. Just know I have your back. Yeah. I do think that Alyssa will probably take it. I'm yeah. feeling it. I'm wondering if what... If not her, I think it will be Nelania. Yeah. Those are the two yeah. that I'm thinking. Uh, I just wonder what the next episode is going to be. Like, what are we going to be doing? Or is it going to be lip syncs? Is it going to be... I want, like, another um, Reggie Rochi moment. Oh, I would love I want, that. like, a good... Fin- well, surely they're not going to do another lip sync off, right? I hope not. I mean, that's what I saw on the internet. But I don't oh, want brother. Again. I lost my train of thought. It was a good one, too. It happens, you know. Sometimes in life, our thoughts are floating and we're just butterflies in the wind, you know? Butterflies in the sky. (laughs) I can go twice. Did you ever watch that Reading Rainbow? No, but I know of it. It scared me. Why? I don't know. There's certain things that visually scare me, and for some reason, the Reading Rainbow (laughs) is one of them. Why did you, like, look directly into my soul as you said there's something that visually scare you? Am I scaring you today? No. Just wait till you see my Halloween look, honey. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. We got a Halloween episode coming up for y'all. We're just going to queen out every new episode. Yeah, we're queening out every new episode. Like we said, we're starting something new. We're in a new little setting, new little vibe. We've we got decorated a little it with the vibes. I've got my bong over here. How is she? Oh, Sick yes. Name. My Bud Vase. That's actually their name. They did not sponsor this, but they should have. Um, <laughs> we are looking for sponsors though so if you yes. know someone let us know but we're dedicated to bringing you guys more content for the rest of the year on a certain day right isn't that going to be the every new thing every single tuesday i love that tuesday's queening out on joseph's channel and then it'll probably be coming yes. out on my channel on thursdays so i like that tuesdays and thursdays yeah very easy so if you miss it on his catch it on mine we can't wait This is Mm going to be so fun to just chat with each other and not have to review Drag Race. I feel like we've done how many seasons now? Is this our fourth or third? One, two, three, four. Four. This is our fourth. Yeah. So fourth seasons. Fourth seasons? Fourth seasons. What is it called? The Four Seasons. The Four Seasons Hotel? Right. Yeah. We've done four seasons. We want to thank you all so much for supporting us and for encouraging us to move in this new direction. Yes. I think it gives us a sense of freedom. And I don't know about you, but for me, it just feels like... People have really fallen in love with us Mm -hmm. and not necessarily like looking to us to be that drag race pod. Um, So, yeah, we're still going to want to be hearing from fans, though. So if you've got an email for us, don't forget, you can send us a message, question or comment at laganjoes at gmail.com. That's L-A-G-A-N-J-O-E-S at gmail.com. And just because um, we aren't going to be discussing drag race as a unity, that does not mean that drag topics will not be discussed or totally. things that are going on or all the of that. The tea in the community. Yeah, of course. Maybe but, my friends will make me watch an episode of UK yeah. and I'll want to say something. I mean, of course, it'll still be fluttering in and out. But, but we won't be reviewing a show in full. Right. So now you can't get mad at me for not watching because I won't be. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Joseph Shepard. I'm Laganja Stranja. And be sure to tune in every Tuesday on my channel and every Thursday on Laganja's for new episodes of Queening, Queening Out. Bye, guys.